we are at the AMM factory today and I just thought I'd run through a few features of our latest trailer that we've just built. It's an extra heavy duty off-road trailer designed for a 7 metre centre console. We call it a trailer on roids. This thing has taken a lot of time and a lot of effort to put together. The design has taken months and we're pretty proud so we'd like to show you through some of the features. So first off, I'd like to point out that we've got a four-wheel drive hitch. It's rated to, to uh, 4.2 tonne, and that being a four-wheel drive hitch allows articulation with the trailer and the vehicle. We're coming back, we've got a large, heavy-duty, again, uh, jockey wheel that'll handle the load of this kind of boat. We're running two spare wheels. One's a fixed wheel, which is just a straightforward wheel, the second one is actually a stub axle with a rolling hub and it's got a bearing. So if we have a tyre blowout on the trailer, we can use that bearing and hub and just replace it. So the whole thing is fixed there. The other thing that we can do with that spare hub is it's pivoted. So in the case of the vehicle getting, the vehicle and or the trailer getting bogged, we can separate the vehicle and the trailer. We can roll that whole hub assembly and turn it down take the jockey wheel out of the situation and then that becomes like a rolling dolly wheel up the front so we can have the trailer disconnected totally from the vehicle and we can snatch strap the whole boat and trailer through a bog. From there we come back we've got its own battery system on board with the electric hydraulic brakes that are on, on this boat. The battery also plays an integral part of running the uh, winch and we've got a manual winch just in case as, a, as an override system but most of the time we'll be driving on and driving off. These are just backup systems for backup systems and that's predominantly what it, this whole trailer is all about. Um, we've put an extender bar on here. This is for beach launching. It's a fairly simple operation. We bring that whole uh, extender bar around and that gives us approximately another three to three and a half meters of extension so the coupling will be further out so the car can be out of the water and the trailer gets another roughly three to three and a half meters further back into the water for shallow shallow ramps to launch from. Then we've got working further back we've got a boat catch which is again heavy duty for this type of boat. The customer can drive up doesn't need safety chains or anything on it at the initial point when he drives up the boat gets caught and they can pull the boat out of the water. It's a full slide trailer too so the whole trailer is um, fixed there is no moving parts on this trailer with the with the setup on the skids it's all been preset to the hull so we've actually put the hull on top of the on top of the frame and then we've individually cut and fabricated each individual skid and brought it up to the hull and then welded it off. And that way, this trailer is 100% designed for that particular hull. This is a, a massive um, big stainless steel pin. All the pins on the trailer, we've had custom made out of 316 stainless steel. We've got, um, they serve different roles. This one here actually holds the tie bar in, or the extender bar in, I should say. And then when it, we undo the pin, the bar swings around and we use the same pin at the front to hold the whole lot together again. Heavy duty guards, 5083 plate construction. We went to something a little bit different rather than using checker plate, but that was more of a styling thing. The washdown system, it's a fully automatic washdown system. We've done that, you put your boat in the water, the boat trailer washes itself, you go boating. Come back, trailer's nice and clean. Suspension. Suspension on this particular trailer we've never done before. It's independent four-wheel suspension. We've got two, four, six, eight shock absorbers. It's an airbag suspension system so we can raise and lower the trailer up to 80 millimetres. That can help with putting it into a garage, launching and retrieving, setting the ride height, setting the amount of air in them to get the best ride for the trailer. Now, come with me, I want to show you a couple of tricks. This is the brains of the whole system. In this box, we've put a little gas strut to start with just to keep it up out of the way so you've got two hands to use. 
when you want to work down in here. We've got the, the actual front panel for the Cruise Master air suspension back there. So this is where we work the suspension. We can set the height, we can set the air pressures. We've got a digital readout on what air pressure is going into each side of the trailer. That's all controlled by a compressor that's mounted down in here as well, which goes to an air tank outside. Also in here is the flush down system with the um, pipe work that runs internally and externally. So we've got two systems here. This trailer actually holds its own fresh water on board. The other system is you can plug your own garden hose fresh water up in here and you've got the best of both worlds. So when you get home, plug it in to your garden hose. If you're at the boat ramp and there's no tap, no hoses, nothing, all we do is literally press a button here and the whole thing just automatically flushes at a set rate and at a set time. So you get, on average with this particular trailer, about five flushes. So if you'd like to come out to the factory and have a look at how we actually put the boats together and the trailers, and we can talk you through all that, just give us a call and come on down to the factory and we'd love to see you down here. Thanks very much for watching.